here. But let us begin this half hour with the secretive and controversial Church of Scientology. In a moment, a defector from that church's leadership core will speak out in an exclusive live interview. But first, NBC's Kerry Sanders is outside the Church of Scientology's headquarters. That's in Clearwater, Florida. Kerry, good morning to you. Well, good morning, Matt. Yes, behind me is the ornate world headquarters of the Church of Scientology. The elite group that helps run the church is known as the C Organization. And this morning, a member is breaking ranks and silence and telling stories of finances, abortions, and mind control. Business as usual, it seems, for Scientologists at the organization's expanding world headquarters in Florida. But for 33-year-old Christine Colbrand, once a member of Scientology's elite core, Sea Org, life is anything but. She was born into a family of Scientologists, but since Christine and her husband Chris, also a member of the church, broke away and started speaking out against Scientology, as they did in a recent New York Times article, Christine says the church has cut her off from her family. They have to make a choice between their daughter or, you know, their eternity, or what they think is their eternity as far as their salvation goes, spiritually. Spokesman Tommy Davis says the church denies interfering in her family, but does say members are taught to cut contact with so-called suppressives, people who viciously attack the church. I've been labeled a suppressive person because I, you know, basically no longer support the church. Her decision to leave, she says, was emotionally and financially costly. Christine says every member signs a so-called eternity contract to remain a Scientologist for a billion years. When she broke that contract, she says the church, which had paid her $50 a week, handed her a $40,000 bill for counseling services the church had given her over her lifetime. I signed a contract that said I was going to be there for the rest of my life and beyond. So I didn't fulfill that contract, and they bill you. That bill was later reduced to $10,000. But still, Christine claims the church made leaving so difficult, she made an extreme choice. The Sea Org does not allow members to have children, so she got pregnant and hid it until it was too late for an abortion. The church denies putting any pressure on members to have abortions. Scientology boasts millions in their congregation, including high-profile movie stars John Travolta and Tom Cruise. It is being a Scientologist, people are turning to you. To your whose Scientology better. video on YouTube has been viewed more than five million times. A testament to the public's fascination with this secretive religion. But the New York Times reports members are walking away in increasing numbers. Now there is the sense that people who do leave are in, have company. Uh, they're not alone, and um, that, that's what's contributing, I think, in some ways to this flood of people who are kind of, you know, stepping out of the church. Church spokesman Tommy Davis says Christine is a liar who has been heavily influenced by a former ranking leader of the church who was expelled. Matt? All right, Kerry Sanders in Clearwater for us this morning. Kerry, thank you very much. Christy King Colbrand is with us exclusively. Christy, good morning. Good morning. Nice to see you. First of all, your response to the uh, statement just uh, Kerry just gave from uh, Tommy Davis. I'm not a liar, so <laughs> is that what you're referring to? Yeah. No, I mean, the, the information that I've, that I've spoken out about is true. I, I still consider myself a Scientologist. You would like to be a practicing Scientologist. You're speaking out less about the church and the fundamentals of the church than you are about this C organization. Well, yeah, I, I was in the C organization, which is basically the elite core of Scientologists. They're staff members. You don't have to be a C org member to be a Scientologist, and that's where you sign that billionaire contract is in the C org. You, you were a Scientologist since you were born. You became a member of that organization. It's kind of like a religious or leadership order within mm -hmm. the church. Mm -hmm. um, when you, you, you obviously liked your role there for a while. You lurked, worked long hours for very little pay. What changed all that? What made you decide this was not what you'd signed up for? Well, there was a different atmosphere at the very end of my career in the Sea Org. Things had changed. The, um, the, the leader of the church, David Miscavige, had implemented things that had trickled down even to the organization that I was at that, you know, it was an atmosphere of sort of fear. People were scared. There wasn't, you know, Scientology is supposed to make you a more able to think for yourself, live a happier life, and the people there weren't happy. So it wasn't really something you, you know, you're there 
to make a difference and to help people and the people there themselves aren't happy. When, when you and your husband both decided it was time to leave that organization, how difficult did they make it on you? It was difficult. I mean, it took my husband over a year to get out of the organization, you know, from the original time he decided he wanted to leave. And, you know, there's a lot of things. There's a program you have to go through. You can't just walk out the door. You have to go through certain steps. Well, but somebody watching this might say, why can't you just walk out the door? Why can't you get in your well, car you and can. drive away? You can if you really want to. But what happens is that you can then be considered a suppressive person for just walking out the door and not going through the steps that they require you to go through. And as a result, you lose contact with the other people in your family and your friends. That's right. The, the, Tommy Davis went on in a statement he sent to us. Ms. Colbrand left the Sea Organization, the Religious Order of the Church of Scientology four years ago having never held a senior management position she has no knowledge of the management of the church today she was later expelled for violating the church's ethical codes she's not a Scientologist is not welcome inside any church of Scientology and must be bitter as a result okay well I do consider myself a Scientologist and there's you know, it's, a, it's my human right to, to be and do whatever I want to do. I believe in the philosophy. I did not leave the faith. And, you know, there's actually a creed of the church that says, you know, you're free to believe and practice and, and do whatever you want to do with regards to that kind of thing. And so for him to say that, it's just not, it's really inhumane. When people hear Scientology, they think of some very high-profile Scientologists like John Travolta and Tom Cruise. In your opinion, are they shielded from some of what is going on within groups like the Sea Organization? Well, yeah, there's a lot of PR that goes on to make it look like it's a very, you know, successful expanding organization. And, you know, I wish that was true. I do, because I believe in the philosophy. I want it to do well. But there's things they don't know about. There's things that are, you know, there's abuse at the top of the organization by David Miscavige that they don't actually know about. And they're not being allowed to see that because, you know, that wouldn't be what, what's wanted. Christy King-Colbrand. Christy, thanks for joining us this morning. I appreciate it. You're welcome.